Looks like we are in the money now, guys. Love to see that. 80 people left. So we've guaranteed ourselves a payout of $191, which is pretty solid. First place, 8137 though. That's what we're really going for. Wow, raise your edge with the massive raid of 1,186 people. Wow, thank you so much. Okay, that's the biggest raid I've ever gotten by a mile. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh man, you guys, this is crazy. Absolutely nuts. Thank you so much, guys. Wow. I love your guys' content, by the way. I watch a lot of it. Um, currently 11 to 16. And we see a jam from under 10 big blinds. And really easy rejam with the 10s. Good luck to us. We won't be all in, but very significant pot for this for us in this tournament. Three ways, ace, king, and ace, jack. They're sharing cards. Oh, let's go. Wow. What a spot for us there, guys. I know they were two short stacks and they had like seven bigs each, but that was huge. Sharing cards, perfect scenario. We fade the ace, king, and the jack. All right, open the low jack with tens. Get three bets by the cutoff. Don't know much about him. I'd feel better if he just opened jam 25 bigs, but for 25 big ones, effective seven-handed. I think we can maybe find a full of nines here. I don't think we can with tens though. So we're gonna be jamming this in. Oh, it just looks so strong, but I think tens for this stack size is just good enough here for 26 bigs. We're not folding. He has aces. Diamond. And we do lose it. Wow, he jams into us. Love to see it. Aces versus King Jack. All right, we do hold. So we're five-handed here, six-handed at the other table. Open the bottom to king nine at clubs. Get a big blind call, huge flop for us, nine, eight, five. He leads out. Um, Man, I think we can maybe stack some worse top pairs here. Uh, so that's the route we're going to try to go here. Especially when there's a lot of bad turn cards for our specific hand. All right, here we go. King nine versus queens. He just flatted queens in the big blinds. Oh, river king! River king! Oh my goodness! Uh, 20 big blinds affected with this guy. Gonna go ahead and limp, setting up the limp jam. And he does go for the raise after we limp. So we are gonna go with our limp jam with our suited ace. Effectively for about like 22 bigs in this start this hand. Snap calls. He has nines. We're gonna need some help. Oh my gosh. Oh, I told you guys I run good, but this is new level of run good. Make the final table here in the Sunday 100. Again, playing for $8,137 up top, and we are coming in as the chip leader, so hoping to close this thing out. All right, on the button here, effectively about 13 big lines. Pretty easy jam, I think, from the button here with sevens. Get called though. Aces. Let's get lucky one more time, please. That's not gonna happen here. And it runs sevens into aces. <sighs> Cut off open. It's three X. I think it's just like a standard sizing though. So we're gonna go for the jam here with King Queen. Snap call, it's not good. Ace Jack, we're gonna need some help. Queen on the turn. Oh, and we do run good. Win the king, queen versus ace, jack. All is good in the world again. Oh my gosh, 70. All right, so he's got about 27 bigs or so. Go ahead and limp. Twenty six bigs maybe. Checks it back. I'm gonna go ahead and bet on the ace jack seven. Expect him to raise his better aces pre. So I think we can go for three streets of value here. 
Um, really just don't want to see a club jack or seven on the river, I think, is the main things we don't want to see. Queen on the river. Do we go to check call and give him a chance to bluff with some of his hands? Because I don't think he's going to call with... Ah, oh, man, do we consider giving a chance to bluff here with some missed draws? I think we go for value. If I didn't have the nine of clubs and there's some more clubs he could have... Um, oh, River Queen Jack. Ugh. Yuck. Wow, these guys, aces versus kings, what happened? The two big stacks of the table. Oh, my. How sick is kings right now? Oh, my gosh. Wow. All right, very next hand. This guy is going to jam in just under 10 bigs. We're in the small line. We're going to rejam with eights. Eights versus Jack-10. Straight on the river. Gonna lose that flip. And now we got Ace-King about 15 at bigs. Uh, I think we can have some min-raising here and we'll do it with a really premium hand. And get a small blind just flat. Interesting. Terrible flop though. Gonna check this back, I think. Turn eight. He checks, we'll keep checking as well. Five on the river, so seven makes a straight. He bets, uh, man, what can he, man. I just, why do I always wanna be a hero? So I, uh, let's see. I don't think he's going to bet five or six for value like this. I think a seven, a lot of times people will bet this turn with a seven, trying to attack what looks like our hand is what it is. Um, you can have a lot of just high cards here. Jack 10, queen jack, king jack, king 10, ace 10, all those random things. Like what hands is he willing to bet for value with here? Like he's going to lead the eight on the turn a lot, I think. A nine, I don't think it's going to... Well, they might bet here, but I don't know. Oh, my gosh. It's just like, I feel like he's so thin and he can have a lot of these two high card hands. Like, I don't think he's value betting worse than an eight. May, even some nines here, I think he's just going to check. Oh. I'm going to puke if he has like twos or threes or fours that's bluffing here. Um, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, it does like very few value hands. It is a board that's good for him, but I don't think he's in about a six or five for value. I guess think I maybe just went way too hero -y there. And we're super short with an ace here. Oh, this guy jams. Oh. I think we have to call this off. Oh, the other guy called too. That's terrible. We're in terrible shape. And... We bust in fourth. Um, the ace king and the ace nine hands, that might have been a really bad way to end this session. I don't know. You guys can let me know. Uh, bust fourth for 3204. Jordan with the file. Thank you, man. Appreciate that.